there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so i felt the need to make a very very quick video speaking about kang now this is not going to be the full guide on how to defeat kang boss but this is just going to be a little warning label and perhaps for some of you an explanation because i have been swamped with questions during my live streams in direct messages online in my youtube comment section why am i not dealing any damage to kang and that is actually very simple you're not dealing any damage to kang because you don't read there are two nodes that are going in to kang and they are on this punisher 2099 path neurokinetic paradox fury and on this path with night rusher neurokinetic paradox prowess and those two nodes are the reason why some of you are not de dealing any damage to kang so let's go over to the neurokinetic paradox prowess so that is the night rusher one each paradox on the attacker grants them an indefinite prowess buff increasing special attack damage by 10 percent the Kang's damage reduction from Kang's neurokinetic suit is increased by 150% at all times. If the attacker is tech, mutant, or mystic, it is decreased by 25% for each armor, prowess, or power gain effect on them to a maximum reduction of 200%. So basically, Kang is going to take 150% less damage unless you have a champion of tech mutant or mystic class and active armor prowess or power gain effects or buffs on them on top of that you can make sure that any champion in tech mutant and mystic class has eight of these effects because that is the maximum amount of paradox charges that you can carry with you and effectively you do more damage this node is helping you if you do everything correctly and enter the fight with a champion that has seven or eight paradox charges or naturally has access to armor, promise, or power gain effects. So the plan would be for you to use your tech, mystic, or mutant champions on this lane. Effectively, no other class champions will be able to do any damage or hardly any. It's very hard to see a circumstance where you could. And you need to work with this Paradox node. Where is the Paradox node? Here we go. The attacker gains one Paradox charge for every five hits on their combo meter. Paradox charge across white abilities, blah, blah, blah. And then the other one is Defender is knocked down, remove one Paradox charge. So you need to strike the opponent, building up your combo, knocking them down to get rid of paradox charges but make sure that you finish the fight with seven eight paradox charges for the last fight that you're going to use that specific champion most champions with no paradox charges at the end will not be able to do any damage so it does very little to swap them in here before the boss because if they don't have any paradox charges it's very doubtful that you will have access to six or more buffs that are needed so you need to work with these paradox charges you need to finish the lane with eight or seven paradox, at least six paradox charges and then you will be able to damage kang and even increase your damage output and it's a very similar thing here with this paradox charge uh, the difference there is that you need fury buffs the difference there is that you need fury buffs and the node states kinetic Paradox Fury. Each Paradox on the attacker grants them indefinite Fury buff, increasing an attack rating by 8%. The damage reduction from Kang's Neurokinetic Suit is increased by 150% at all times. If the attacker is Cosmic Skill or Science, it is decreased by 25% for each Fury or Precision effect on them to a maximum reduction of 200. So, it's similar thing where you need to have either a lot of Fury or a lot of Precision buffs for a champion of cosmic skill or science class or you need to have six or more paradox charges when you enter the kang fight so here again you need to work with this node that starts with punisher 2099 
And whenever you will use a champion for the last fight on this lane, you need to make sure that they are finishing with six, seven, eight paradox charges. And it's very similar. So you gain paradox charges by building up your combo meter, and you get rid of paradox charges when you uh, intercept. That's it. So that is why you're not dealing any damage. Because if you don't have let's say six fury buffs or four fury buffs at the very least or something that Kang's neurokinetic suit reduces all damage basically down to zero. So if you have tech mutant or uh, sorry, not tech mutant or mystic for this lane with fury buffs, you need to have the skill science or cosmic. So you need the skill science or cosmic champion that has ton of fury or precisions or more realistically, and the way most people should be doing it is you need to work with this node on the way to the boss and make sure that you finish the fight whilst having six, seven, eight paradox charges. Then you can use any champion of those three classes. And that's about it. It is annoying. I'm not a big fan of this uh, node in general. Uh, I think it kind of eliminates the benefit from ability to swap in a fresh new character so i kind of find it annoying plus obviously the fact that you can get stuck but it is what it is uh, those are the nodes on the kang boss and that is what this video was about so no the kang fight is not bung it's just that people and i understand why people don't read these nodes because just there's just so much to read but in, in these two lanes it's very very important that you work with the class types that are required and that you build up your paradox charges before you reach Kang on ideally several different champions so you don't have to keep reviving the same champion or you can do that you can build up I don't know bring in your best champion your ranked up Hercules just uh, make sure that by the end of the path so by this time he fights Void let's say he has six, seven, or eight paradox charges, and he will be able to do plenty of damage. And uh, that is about it. Then the fight is normal. If you enter this fight with the right class champion with eight paradox charges, you effectively do even get a damage boost. If you enter the fight with the right class champion and six paradox charges, then that node doesn't matter. It's as if you're fighting unnoded Kang. But if you want to avoid all of that stuff, then just take the path on the far left and it doesn't have any links to Kang and it's a very easy path to do for completion anyways. But uh, yeah, that is the answer to why you are not dealing any damage to Kang. I hope this video helps some of you. And if you have friends who are struggling to understand why it is happening, well, then you can guide them to this video. Thank you very much and um, see you next time. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about